Do you struggle with keeping your large dogs off of your furniture? I don't know how many times I have walked in the house only to see pillows from my couch mysteriously on the floor while I'm away, or sitting on my couch with black pants only to have them completely covered in dog hair. If that sounds like uh, things that you struggle with as well, then stick with me. This is the right video for you today because today I'm going to give you three quick and easy um, tips, hacks, so to speak, for how to encourage your big dogs, your large dogs, to stay on the floor, stay on their own dog beds, and not get up on your furniture, especially while you're away. So if you are new here, my name is Stephanie, AKA Big Dog Mom. And on this channel, I provide information and resources to help you and your big dog live your best life together. So if you are interested in the topic of keeping big dogs off of your furniture, then stick with me and consider hitting that like button if you like this video. All right, let's get going. Out of the three tips, the first tip is the only one that really involves you and your dog working together. And there are two components to this, to this tip that I have for you. The first component, the first part of this involves you teaching your dog where their place is, helping them understand that this is their bed. This is their bed, not your, not your furniture is not their bed. Their bed is their bed. So, so what you want to do is start by just reinforcing to them when they're on their bed, click and treat. Um, you can, you, when they're on their bed, you can start to associate the word go to your place, go to your bed. You start to pair the words with the action on the bed. So that's kind of the first component of it. Um, and I'll just show you kind of what that looks like. And then we're going to go into the second component. And then we're going to talk about the next two tips, which are more when you're away. So make sure you watch to the end of this video. Okay, so the first part of this is silly. Come here. So the first part of this really involves you just having your dog be on the bed and then reinforcing that they're on the bed. Okay, on your bed. So now Sully already knows, Sully already knows the, the word, go to your bed, get on your bed, something to that effect. So basically all I would do is just reinforce when he's on there, he gets a click and a treat. Yes, you're so good. The other component of this tip that involves you and your dog is really just when you are on the couch, when you are in and around your couch, you want to make sure that your dog, when they start obsessing, if they start to get on the couch, especially if they would start to get on the couch, that you reinforce every time they look away from the couch, you would click treat that. Anytime they walk away from the couch, you would click, click and treat that. So it really is just reinforcing when you, when you show motions away from the couch, you get reinforced for that. You, you get, you get treated for that behavior. But Sully is not really cooperating too much. Come here. Come here. <laughs> so, so with Sully, what I might do is just, I see, sit. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to see if this works. Okay, well, there's Junie. Okay. So what I might do is wait until they, on your bed. Good job. Okay. Junie, on your bed. No, that's not your bed. Over here. Jump. Well, it's a little hard with two dogs. Sally is a little bit more anxious here. Get on your bed. Good job. Okay. So it might be kind of hard to show you the second component just because they're not really, I don't have dogs that obsess with getting on the couch. So, up. Yeah, I don't think he's even, ah, ah, so. Sully, off. Good job. Yeah, he's the one that, that will tend to get on the couch when, if there's either dog to get up there, it would be Sully. On your bed. Good job. Okay, so that's kind of the first tip. And really, I'll just summarize really quick after I get a slobber rag. I'll just summarize that really quick. It was a little hard to see the second tip, just the, the second component to that, just because it, the, Sully, I had to ask to get up on the couch. Now, you were able to see a little bit of me getting him off of the couch, but now that also required the word off, which your dogs may not understand. But the, the, the key to that is just as soon as they get off 
attempt to get off. Start the motion of getting off. You, you click treat and make sure you've got a treat there. So really, you're just trying to reinforce this is their place. And you, whenever they make motions or head movements, any kind of body language away from your furniture, then you would click and treat that. So hopefully those two components made, make sense for the first tip. Okay. The second tip, the second and third tip, really involve more when you're away, right? You're not gonna be able to work with your dog while you're away. And you are, you know, the idea, it's funny, I was talking to my sister, she had a German Shepherd and she was telling me that they had tried a number of things to keep Greta, their German Shepherd, off of their furniture. I mean, everything from mouse traps, which I cannot even imagine doing that, but <laughs> she said Greta would just lay on the mouse traps. I mean, they weren't, you know, uh, they weren't activated mouse traps. Clearly, the dog was in no harm. But nonetheless, they set them there to deter her, and it didn't deter her. So these are not going to be tips like that. These two tips really are just benign things that you can do with your couch, with your furniture, to deter your dogs from getting on the, on the furniture. Okay, so the first tip is using your... I use pots and pans just because the sound is kind of loud. Uh, th my goal is not to scare my dogs ever. And I would never, I, I don't intentionally make the sound to scare them. There's, there's really no action of the sound. It really is just something that the dogs are familiar with. Um, they do know that they make sound, but again, this is not an effort to scare my dogs. And really the only thing that I would do with pots and pans is just set them on the couch. Now, if you do this, your dog's, likely will not jump on the couch if there are pots and pans and really it would be the potential of the pot or the, the lid falling on the ground and that would make a very loud sound but again I don't ever make that sound it's simply the presence of the pots and pans the lids being on the couch that is enough of a deterrent for my big dogs the third tip has to do with my personal favorite, and that is using Reynolds wrap or tin foil, aluminum foil to deter your dogs from getting up on the furniture. This is super cheap. Every home has it. And, and in my opinion, it works better than just about anything. It's super cheap and super easy. And all you do is just pull out a long strip and place it on your furniture. I usually place it sort of towards the front of the furniture. And that is all that it takes to keep my big dogs off of the furniture. So of the three options, I would say definitely focusing on the training aspect when you're with your dog, constantly reinforcing the dog's place, um, you know, treating, clicking, making sure that they understand that is really the most desirable place for them to be laying. And then the, the second of my favorite tips would really just be the aluminum foil. I really think that that's the best. It's the easiest and it works with nearly all dogs. Now it's not going to work for all dogs and I'm sure I'll hear in the comments who it doesn't work for, but um, nonetheless, I hope that you found value in these three quick tips on how to keep your, do your big dogs off of your furniture. If you have any other tips, please put them in the comments below. I, I'm always interested, as I shared with my sister using the, the inactivated mouse traps. Um, I'm always interested to hear what other people are using and I think we can all learn from that. So definitely put in the comments below any other ideas or tips that you have for keeping dogs off of your furniture while you're away. And um, we can start a conversation about that and we can all learn from each other. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any late breaking big dog news. All right. Thanks so much for watching guys and we will see you in our next video. Bye for now.